pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles Workbook Lesson 299, Insights. Eternal Holiness Abides in Me. Because eternal holiness abides in me, it abides in everything and everyone, because all is one. By believing that the idea of separation is real, I have taught myself the opposite. I have taught myself that I am guilty and that everything I look on is guilty or will in some way punish me for my guilt. This belief obscures my awareness of my holiness. But by the grace of God, it cannot change it nor alter it in any way. To recognize my holiness, I need only choose a different teacher. In making the choice to listen to the Holy Spirit instead of the ego, I make the choice to become aware of my eternal holiness. He will teach me to recognize illusion as illusion. He will teach me that separation has never occurred and could never occur in reality. The success of his teaching is guaranteed because he is teaching what I already know in truth. He needs only to help me undo the false ideas I have taught myself to reveal the truth that still remains untouched by all the mistaken ideas. His teaching is kind and gentle and loving. There is never condemnation, but only compassionate understanding. He sees the illusions I see, but he does not believe them. As I learn to walk with him, I too will learn to recognize illusions and not believe them. That is my healing and my release. The joy that lies within me is revealed and I cannot help but to offer it to all for joy is the motivation to share. I thank you, Father, for holding my holiness perfect for me. Though I walk in the wilderness of imagined guilt and fear, you hold my holiness in perfection for me. You know me as I am, not as I imagine I am. I am grateful for the gift of my teacher in my mind who reminds me of your love and your peace and your joy, which you will to be mine, and so they are. As I practice thinking with the Holy Spirit, I remember. Eternal holiness abides in me. In much of the world, Jesus is the symbol of eternal holiness. What we are coming to learn and understand is that the holiness of Jesus is within everyone. The holiness that Jesus represents is what we all are. This holiness is our true self, which is one. As we are willing to open up to the eternal presence of Jesus in our minds, we all are led home to our source. We all will remember that we never left the mind of God. We all will wake up from the dream and remember that the dream never happened. Meanwhile, our work now is to open our minds to the loving presence of Jesus. Our job now is to refrain from making any decisions on our own. Our job now is to allow Jesus to hold our hand and lead us back to remembering the truth. We cannot hold the ego's hand and Jesus's hand at the same time because they are going in opposite directions. We are the decision maker. As we choose, so will we experience. Jesus leads toward a peace of mind and the ego leads 
toward a conflicted mind. Jesus, today I consciously choose to walk with you all through the day. I consciously choose to step back and listen to your healing perspective. I consciously choose peace instead of conflict. I consciously choose unity rather than separation. I give this day to you. Amen. Pathwaysoflight.org